forced partnership between us and them. This is how we will be eternally owned by them. This is how they can push our biology from Homo sapien to Homo evolutus without our having a say in it. For now, engineered technology in all living things is a secret. But one day we may be charged with unlawful possession of something that has become a part of us that we cannot get rid of. The nature of biology is to adapt. As more unnatural elements enter our bodies, if we cannot reject them, we will find ways to accommodate them. You could call it invasion of the body snatchers meet sleeping with the enemy. In fact, the original Body Snatchers movie contains some interesting lines. Your new bodies are taking you over, cell for cell, atom for atom, and you'll be born into an untroubled world. Don't fight it, Miles. It's no use. Their bodies were now hosts harboring an alien form of life, a cosmic form. Metabiology was a term coined by the famous Jonas Salk of the Salk polio vaccine. It describes a form of biological prospecting, exploiting genetics, using chemistry, physics, and radiation for commercial and other goals. The 1940s and 50s gave us the birth of radiation biology, the techniques of which were used to decipher the mysteries of heredity, genes, and immunity. Geneticists plumbed chemistry and physics using x-rays and UV light to irradiate plants, fungi, and fruit flies to see how mutations altered amino acids and enzymes to form a new biochemistry. All this continues today. We are living, walking laboratories for powerful science in a society of increasing control. We are being altered. The future being spoken of is happening now. My question is, how will we transcend this? And I have one more clip for you. Nanobots will infuse all the matter around us with information. Rocks, trees, everything will become these intelligent computers. So at that point, we're going to expand out into the rest of the universe. We will be sending basically nanotechnology infused with artificial intelligence. Swarms of those will go out into the universe and basically find other matter and energy that we can then harness to expand the overall intelligence of our human machine civilization. So the universe will wake up. It will become intelligent. And that will multiply our intelligence trillions of trillions fold you know we can't really fully contemplate and that's really the main reason this is called the singularity but regardless of what you call it it will be the universe breaking up so does god exist well i would say not yet